hello friends today i want to show and make a three phase pldc controller using single sensor this you for the three phase pldc controller i have used only single sensor okay now i am going to explain the circuit okay look at this this is the arduino and here this is the monitor circuit and here this is the mosfet free and this is the pldc motor 6 volt pldc motor okay here the three outputs 9 10 11 are taken to the pldc controller and the output digital pin 8 here and uh, connected to the sensor single sensor okay, 8 and 5 volt positive supply is taken to the sensor okay here this is the circuit now i am going to explain how it is working look at this here rotor rotation led on mosfet energize here when the rotor moves 120 degree the led one led the output of the arduino on and the mosfet or phase energize and given the output when the rotor moves 240 degree led 2 on and y phase mosfet energize and given to the output of the motor when the rotor moves 360 degree the LED 3 on that means Arduino output 3 and the MOSFET energies V phase MOSFET energies ok look at this now I am going to here the, the LED first on or phase on and, and the rotor move 120 degree indicate C LED on and the motor move 360 degree B LED on ok so according to the rotation of the 120 degree the phase shifting or YB is, have, is taken and, uh, and according to the output of the Arduino the MOSFET the, the MOSFET conduct R phase, Y phase and B phase. Now I am going to test the motor and connected a small load. Okay. Here, for each rotation of the 120 degree, the phase shifting is taken, okay, R phase and C phase and B phase. So, it will, this is the Arduino output, the sensor senses the rotation of each 120 degree and given feedback to the Arduino. Hello friends, here look at this. Now I am going to explain the three phase PLDC controller using single sensor. This is the significance. Okay, look at this. This is the six pole PLDC motor, and this is the motor lead, and this is the common lead. This is connected to the MOSFET fridge ok the common lead is connected to the positive end ok here this is the single sensor not for three sensors it is I have used only single sensor the sensor lead is connected here and it is taken to the Arduino pin Arduino pin 8 ok here this is the output 
signal from the Arduino. The three LEDs are used for monitoring the signal of the Arduino. Here the input signal is given to the MOSFET fridge and also here a three LED is connected for monitoring the output of the fridge. Okay. Now here the source 9 volt supply is given to the Arduino board V in and the two ends V in and ground and the other two leads are cut power source are connected to the MOSFET fridge okay now I am going to test the motor okay here the motor is running Four hundred thousand five hundred. Now I'm going to increase the speed. Here, thousand six hundred thousand seven hundred thousand eight hundred it may be going to run up to two thousand more than two thousand rpm i am not raising the voltage fully seven point eight voltage is given and the current consumption point six ohms okay Okay, look at this. The supply voltage is 7.8 and the current consumption 0.6. Here, now I am going to reduce the speed. Okay, the motor even running 5.5 volt and the current consumption is 0.4 ohms. Okay.
Now I am going to reduce still. the minimum voltage is 5.3 to run the motor okay okay friends if you like this project please subscribe Now I increase the voltage up to 7.3 The motor running Air speed, ok Okay friends, if you like this project, please subscribe and press the bell button and also press the like button. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you very much.